guys, good afternoon. Actually, good morning, it's just before morning. We are about to get together a fruit salad and go sing happy birthday to Nin. The girls are having an early lunch because we're having fruit salad at Nin. Yeah, they're having hot dogs, chicken franks actually with some leftover bread that I had in the fridge and chips, so fun. They're gonna have their healthy fruit at um, Nin's house. So anyway, that's what they're doing. I haven't had lunch yet. I blew my hair out today, but I didn't do a very good job. I just like halfway did it, so it's poofy. I wanted to either curl it with a curling iron or just like my Conair one or sh like completely straighten it, but I didn't have time to do it right now because I waited too long into Everly's nap to take a shower and start getting myself ready. So we're just gonna keep it up in a <laughs> And uh, uh, half up, half down, and I'll do it later. And if I don't get it done, it's not that big of a deal. At least it's semi done. Better than I guess it has been the last few days. So, update on my feet, foot peel. Um, I have, yeah, if you don't wanna see, I'm gonna show you guys really fast. Just skip ahead. I'll put a marker here that you can skip ahead to if you do not want to see the foot peel. So this is day like, four and I'm starting to peel but it's not awful so okay I'm gonna show you okay here's my left foot you can see it's peeling there and it's just dry it's peeling there and then my right foot is peeling more there there and here in my toes. I do have to say though, the skin underneath it, very, very soft. So not awful. I guess people that are just like, don't like to see feet probably don't wanna see that. My feet are perfectly clean. Nothing's nasty about them except the peeling skin. But I just don't, I'm not probably going to get a pedicure for a little while and I need, something happened, had to happen with my feet because they're looking rank. I need to paint them. I, ha I need to put some color shade on my nails too. I've been bare for like almost two weeks. Yeah, because I took my other ones like right after New Year's. So maybe even before New Year's. Anyway, I need to do something, but today is not that, well, right now is not that time. Maybe later on today. So yeah, I did not upload a vlog last night. My mom and I had a really good chill evening. I did her hair. She was very excited. She needed a trim. She doesn't feel comfortable going to the salon and sitting there for a long period of time. So her hair is just as straight as a girl's. <laughs> Probably even straighter. And it's not as thick, so it's super easy to just give her a quick trim. Trimmed up her face frame and bangs and stuff, and it looks a lot healthier, which is nice. I told her, I was like, you should just let me dye it because she has highlights that she got years ago that are still trying to grow out. I feel like she got them two summers ago. And so she was like, yeah, maybe next time, maybe we'll go a little bit shorter. So yeah, that's what we did. And then we just chit chatted the whole night and then I crashed. I went to bed, I was so tired. So it was a good night. We got some good rest and my honey bunny's off for today and tomorrow, which is cool. I like when he's off two days in a row. It gives us like, like a weekend it feels like, you know, so. Anyway, that's what we are up to. I'm going to get a vlog up tonight, um, but we gotta get some stuff done first. Okay, we're making the fruit salad. It has cantaloupe, green grapes, banana, and I have this nifty strawberry cutter. Well, I guess you could really use it for anything, but it's in the shape of a strawberry. I got off Amazon, of course. So I'm, I've never really used it. So I wanna see if it works. So you just put the strawberry in like that. A little harder to use than I think. Cool, but it works. So it just gives you thin pieces. Let's try it again. Ooh, that's good. Whoa! Cool! Okay, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nin. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and many more blood out. <laughs> Woo! There's mom crying. <laughs> okay, y'all behave. Bye. Love you. Have fun. Okay. Happy Saturday. Why well, you didn't want to go back to dad? <laughs> oh, daddy. You and mommy have fun. We are kid free. Dropped off everyone at my mom's house. She'll probably end up keeping the big girls for the good majority of the day. Or the three big girls, I should say. Um, we'll probably pick up Everly at some point to take her home so she can get a good nap and whatnot. She just doesn't sleep that great at my mom's house, which is fine. She's just not used to sleeping other places and we try and let her sleep there and if to sleep train we've always done cry it out and it's worked for us I know it's not for everyone it's always worked for us with each of the girls so we try that at my mom's house too and my mom just can't she can't do it I'm like mom she's never gonna get used to sleeping here if you don't let her try but she just can't she can't take it like we can I probably because she's our fourth kid and we're just like you got to go sleep so anyway if she starts to get like super fussy or she's overly crying exhausted stuff we just pick her up not a big deal so we're out running a few errands we're at the UPS store returning that trampoline we tried to return it last week I think and the guy Amazon because that's where my mom got it from on the phone which we've returned so many Amazon packages like it's usually not a big deal he said you don't have to put it together just take it to, or take it apart you can leave it together take it to UPS and they'll mail it back for you okay I'm like well that's kind of strange we've never had it had anything big like that had to be taken apart or mailed back really so I was like okay so we tried to return it and UPS thought we were insane for bringing a whole trampoline in here they're like oh no absolutely not it has to be taken apart so when we got the new trampoline which is in perfect condition and upstairs in the girls playroom um, we put took this one apart and put it back in the box so Andres is returning it hopefully they don't give us any problems so we're doing that and then he needs some more meals for uh, work for the week we probably will do a big shopping trip next weekend like to Costco or something I don't I don't really feel we don't need I mean I showed, showed you guys our freezer we don't need meat and frozen fruit and um, frozen vegetables and stuff right now the only thing that we probably will need during the week that I'll probably do a grocery or maybe today we'll pick it up is milk we have bread we have eggs because I just bought those. Milk and fruit. We're running low on fresh fruit. But other than that, we're pretty good. We have sandwich stuff. That's the beauty of having a freezer is you can buy in bulk and freeze it. And then you always know that you have it. So it's just stocking up that freezer again. Like this week, I'm pulling. I don't have anything in the fridge to use. I'm pulling everything from the freezer so the freezer will start to dwindle down and I don't like it to be too too dwindled I like to stay on top of it being packed because whenever I've done grocery or pantry challenges in the past it wipes us clean of what we have so then stocking back up just costs a lot of money and it's hard for me to stock up over time I can do it if I'm already stocked up kind of but stocking up over time when we're barren it barren's not a good word when we just don't have much in the freezer it's hard because the freezer stuff is usually what's most expensive in your grocery budget you know so anyway this week we're going to make it work with what we have at home but he's been taking if not leftovers convenience meals to work every single day and we're completely out so we need to and his like little healthy snacks and stuff that he's been taking so we're gonna stop and pick up that stuff for him and then like I said I may just go ahead and pick up milk and stuff today so I don't have to do it later on in the week I also need some head and shoulders shampoo I use the itchy scalp care I don't use it every single time because it strips your hair really bad but I have a super itchy dry scalp which is crazy because my hair gets oily so fast but my scalp is like dry so it gets itchy and I use head and shoulders like once every two weeks and it really helps so I need that and I really wanted to coupon for it but I'm just I haven't been in the mood to coupon like to go clipping coupons and to spend hours in 
CVS and I feel like CVS every time I've gone in there for like pictures the last few weeks it's been odd like they only have one person working the entire store and they're not very stocked up on stuff and yeah it's just been an odd feeling so I haven't felt like hanging out in there for a long period of time trying to coupon for stuff and our couponing shelf is pretty packed but I told you guys we went so long without buying shampoo conditioner body wash baby products and stuff so long like probably two years and now we finally have come to the point where we need it like the girls are gonna need toothpaste too they go let me know if I'm the only one that their kids go through toothpaste like crazy crazy Emmy uses adult toothpaste. Maddie's about to start using adult toothpaste because she has um, more adult teeth now than she does baby teeth. But they go, I put a tube of toothpaste up on their thing and I, they got it for Christmas and I'm just like, the heck? It's like more, almost gone. I just don't understand how we can, we brush our teeth multiple times a day and our toothpaste lasts us a month maybe, six weeks. I don't understand where <laughs> the kids are what the kids are doing with the toothpaste I feel like they're ingesting it or something's happening because it goes so freaking quickly so just like toiletries and stuff like that I miss couponing for because buying them outright stinks and I haven't had to do that in so long and yeah it just it stinks so anyway that's what the plan is today I lost I was too 83 my phone's off I was 283.4 yes because I lost 1.4 pounds again this week so that's very exciting I still it kind of stinks because for a while when I I could tell I was gaining weight but I really wasn't keeping track I wasn't weighing myself I was like oh it's just it's because I'm eating crappy it's like probably water weight but I've been eating really diligently I haven't been working out but I've been eating really diligently for two weeks now and I would have thought that it would have come off a lot faster being that I was thinking it was water weight and that just kind of stinks because it means it's true weight gain when you lose it slowly like that it's true weight gain true weight loss um, so yeah not my finest moment but I'm excited to have lost a total of 2.8 pounds for the new year so that's hap I'm happy with that like I said one to two pounds is my goal every single week and even though that's like slow steady progress i'm totally cool with that if i'm smaller january 2nd of next year than i was january 2nd of this year i'm happy i was smaller this january 2nd than i was last january 2nd and so that's just my goal every january 2nd to be a smaller than i was the january 2nd before this target is fully stocked on cute little things they have some Valentine's Day stuff, but cute little trinkets and coloring stuff. Just all kinds of fun, cute decor. Like they have the whole rainbow theme stuff over there, like the neutral rainbow. Really, really cute. Whole bunch of Valentine's Day stuff over here. I picked up some hand towels. I don't know if I'm going to keep them, but I picked up the rose hand towels and I'm thinking about getting, I kind of want to go to Dollar Tree. I have some Valentine's Day stuff and normally I'm not a huge Valentine's Day decorator, but I feel like this year I need to be because it's a pandemic and we have nothing else to do. <laughs> but like, how cute. Okay, we finished up at Target. We actually ran home and dropped off all the stuff that we bought. Um, we really didn't get a ton of stuff, but we picked up his meals. He got two weeks worth, so they were on sale at Target, which is great. Plus, there is an I bought a deal for 75 cents off of each one up to five, and then we, and then um, for one of the low carb ones, it was a dollar off up to five or a dollar back. So that was cool, and they were on sale for two for six. Which normally, you guys know, I don't like going to Target to buy groceries and stuff. Their stuff is way more expensive, in my opinion. Um, compared to what we can get at H-E-B or Walmart, but he found the deal last night and I was like, oh, we can go check it out. And yeah, sure enough, it was a pretty good deal, especially with the Ibotta deals. So, and there was a manufacturer coupon on the Target Circle app. So between all of that, we got pretty good deals. I got a couple of Valentine's, Valentine Day decorations. Um, I wanna put some 
stuff out. We don't have a lot, so I just picked up a, like literally a couple of things, a thing for the center of the table and a banner, and that's about it. So we'll put those up. I'll show you that kind of stuff when we get home though. We had to run home, put the frozen meals away, and then um, we found a meat deal. If you've never checked out Target's sale meat, Sometimes they have little stickers that's like a dollar, three dollars, five dollars. I don't know if they have anything higher than that on the meat that needs to be sold like today or tomorrow. For instance, today is the 18th. They had sirloin steaks that are normally $8.99 a pound. So the packages were like anywhere from one and a quarter to two pounds of sirloins and they're individually already sealed they had five dollars off of each one which was great so we got two sirloin steaks ended up picking up four packs again i'll show you when we get home i just wanted to get them in the freezer but we ended up picking up four packs so eight steaks total for about 25 dollars and it ended up it was probably about 15 pounds no they weren't all two pounds it was probably like 12 pounds of sirloin which i mean for 20 two to twenty five dollars that's pretty good because the steaks were buy one get one 25 percent off and then each of the steaks were five had a five dollar coupon on them and the girl was super sweet i didn't know there was a limit i feel like i've bought multiple in the past and there has never been a limit but the girl was super sweet she was like you can only have two but i can do a separate transaction i was like okay cool so like i said we ended up buying four so that's literally all we got. <laughs> and then we waited for Starbucks. I got my iced chai tea latte. Um, it has almond milk, so it's an iced. This time I got venti. I don't know how many points this is, but today is my day to have like a little treat and this is what I wanted. So I got a venti iced chai tea latte with almond milk, two pumps of sugar-free cinnamon dolce, um, sweet cream cold foam with cinnamon sprinkled on top. That's exactly how I order it, super good. Um, I like the kick of the chai, and then the cold foam keeps it nice and sweet. So yeah, that was my little treatment. Everybody got a iced white mocha? Something like that, he already, he downed his. Anytime we get Starbucks, he like downs it way, mine, mine will last all day, and he'll finish it in like five minutes. Um, that, and then he'd never tried the egg bites, and so he thought, what was your review? Yeah, he saw when we pulled up, the guy in front of us was getting them because you could see in the Target Starbucks. And he was like, what are those? I said, oh, they're egg bites, they're good. He was like, oh, I'll try them. So he really liked them, that was cool. So anyway, now we are headed to Costco. I, I just said earlier this morning, we're not gonna go to Costco or anything. We don't need any groceries and we don't, but we need batteries for our Smoke detectors have been alarming on their own, like letting us know that they need something, a battery change or whatever, an annual check. And so um, we only have one battery at home and we have like 10 smoke detectors. So we, they're so expensive, those batteries for the smoke detectors, of course worth it, but so expensive. So we're going to Costco because we have nothing else to do, <laughs> right? And that's our favorite place. Um, to see if we can find a few things. I could probably get my head and shoulder shampoo there. Target's just so expensive. I hate buying stuff at Target if I don't have like a good deal or a good coupon or something. So yeah, we're making a drive to Costco because why not? When you don't have the kids with you, you can just run around and do whatever. I'm playing on the desk about Starbucks <laughs> Puppuccino. I meant to show you guys this. My mom gave me this. My mom gets suckered into the craziest stuff. I don't even know where she bought this from, but it's a plumping lip gloss and it's by City Lips. My guess would be that she got it on Amazon because like you guys think that I order a lot from Amazon. My family is just as crazy when it comes to Amazon. Mom, Nin, Chuby, they all love Amazon. How do I open this? Um, so anyway, she said, I thought I just bought one. And then I got it and this happens all the time, mind you, all the time. She's like, I thought I just bought one, but it came with three. I was like, okay. So she said, if you'll use it, uh, you can just have one. So we'll see. I don't know why I'm doing this really because we're about to put on a mask. But. It smells like Jolly Rancher. 
sweet like a gummy bear. It doesn't feel that plumping. It says it's supposed to instant plump. I don't notice the difference. <laughs> my bottom lip is already pretty full. My top lip isn't as full. So usually when I plump, for whatever reason, I like it to be on top. But I really don't feel any different. <laughs> I guess my mom got duped on Amazon. Some things off Amazon are super good. Others, eh, not so much. These masks my mom got too. They're tie-dye. And they're also from Amazon. You ready? Ready. Vamanos. Costco is on and popping today. It must be because of the holiday because it's pretty busy. And I had to rub off that lip gloss because it was getting stuck to my mask and now my lips are burning like they're plumping. Go ahead, baby. Yeah, the thing was like, it seems crazy. We're looking at bikes. This one's a $1,000 though. So, yeah. Are we taking it? I don't. I feel like if we're going to do this, we should just get the Amazon one. Huh? Get on, let me see. Go. Up. We're going up a mountain. <laughs> up on your bike. Turn your cadence to... Whatever cadence goes to. <laughs> oh yeah. Probably because they don't want you sitting on it. <laughs> this is literally all we're getting. The 9 volt batteries. Some fish oil. All their supplements and everything are on sale. So, fish oil. We have the girls vitamins. They're on sale for 7 so I like to stock up when they're on sale. Hair, skin, and nails. This is the one that I use. I normally get it from Amazon and I have it on auto ship but I only have like one more week of them and they don't ship out for another four weeks or something so I don't really want to ruin my schedule so I'll leave it like that and then just the B complex that's all we're getting anytime we ever have to scan stuff like whenever I hate self-checkout but anytime you have to do self-checkout it always makes me realize how slow I would be if <laughs> if I was actually cashier <laughs> $80 later. I have the most random things in my hand from Dollar Tree, but one thing we haven't had in forever are these Jennifer's Garden spring rolls. Oh, you might as well just take the whole pack. How many are there? Eight, oh, I think 10, 13. We'll be stocked for a while. Hi! Hi! Hi. I was just getting ready to give her some. Uh, oh, you're getting a snack? A chewy bar. I got a ring chop and snack. Okay, don't be telling everybody everything. We already got it. Hi! We got busted. We got busted. I got a ring for Everly. Just Everly, yeah. As long as Grandma still wants to keep you. Give that to your sister. Yes, <laughs> Emma! I'm taking all of my Jennifer's Garden spring rolls, putting them outside. I'm going to show you the meat that I bought today too. I'm going to cut down that box so I can actually just shove them in here because I don't have line. Normally I line them up here, but these are all of the lean cuisine meals that my honey bunny got. He usually takes them with like a side salad or extra vegetables or yogurt and granola, protein bar, like he takes um, a little like homemade Lunchable to go along with them because typically for him they're not in quite enough but they're better than like a bigger, I don't know, frozen meal or whatever. And then this is the steaks. These are the steaks. Top sirloin, Angus beef. So normally they're $8.99 a pound. They're already don't mind that. I still gotta figure out how to get it out without falling out the whole fridge. But two steaks, good size, and it was five dollars off the package. So $13.93, we got it for $8.93 for two of these, which is a great deal, and it's 1.55 pounds. And when you bought one pack, you got the second pack 25% off. Plus, I got 5% off for using my red card. Plus, they had for this like MLK weekend, if you spent 100, you got $10 off. So between everything we bought, we got $10 off. So the meat was a great deal. So I bought that to stock up on, mostly for him, because like I said, we don't 
we don't love, I don't love steak, so usually when he wants a steak, it's kind of cool because he can just open up one and cook one for himself. So that's what we got. If you guys see these, you need to jump on them. When I've recommended them in the past, I've never had somebody tell me that they did not like them. <laughs> so, yeah. And look, best before, 722.22. So, we bought a lot of them, but they'll last us a long time. The last time we stocked up on them, we haven't had any in a while, but the last time we stocked up on them, they were in the freezer for like the better part of a year. So, I'm super excited. Okay, so we got that put away. Other stuff from Dollar Tree. I saw this under eye massager. I figured that would be kind of cool to put on eye cream. Um, the girls' night light bulbs are so cheap, they're only a dollar. And then a couple of cat things. This clings onto the window, a suction cup cat toy. Mila loves playing with toys. I don't know that Lolo will like it. Two more pill boxes. This is for my hand money. And then I got a bigger one for myself because the pills that I take now, which is vitamin D, calcium, a one a woman's one a day, the hair, skin, and nails, and that's it. They barely fit in the box that I have now, and I want to start taking fish oil and my B-complex, putting it in the box, so I got a bigger one, only a dollar, and then a couple of cat collars. They are so rough with their cat collars, so rough. Both of them are already broken from Christmas. And they were like $5 each, which is not a lot, but they're already broken. They've only had them on a month. So I figured, eh, for a buck, might as well check these out. Look, her bow's just dangling. Look at you, standing pretty. So I got, they only had this one pink one or else I would have got two pink ones, but that one and glitter. So I'm gonna switch out their holiday ones and give them that. And then at Target, my honey bunny picked up these pack of resistance loop bands light medium heavy they're only five dollars so I don't know how good of quality they are but he got those and I got a couple of little things for Valentine's Day love I figured I'm gonna put this I think oh by the coffee bar and then I picked up these these were only five dollars the dish towels for decoration then I need to pull out my other uh, stuff and then I got these little cake stands so, I don't know if I'm going to put this one by the coffee bar with some like coffee decoration or in the middle of the table with the spinny thing on it if it fits. If not, I may, this is for a candle. So, I don't know if I'm going to switch out the candle that I have over here now for that or if I'm going to stack these, glue them together, what I haven't decided. And then I got some M&Ms to put in like a jar for Valentine's Day. These are cheesecake M&Ms. Never heard of those. Gum, Bird's Bee, and then this is to um, switch out for our current one that we have because it is a pain in my butt. It slips and slides everywhere and it's not connected. In fact, let me show you. Not connected. It gets like this piece, do you see? And I have a slip guard under there, but do you see how it gets bunched up? It's just, this one's not working anymore for us. So I'm gonna try and switch it out a little bit. And then you guys saw all this stuff that we got at Costco. That's all we got today. That's all she wrote. Everly's already down for a nap.
I'm so excited. <laughs> you guys have no idea. This knife block, we used to have our knives out on the counter before we got the ice machine. The ice mach machine is super huge and cumbersome, but it we love it. So it's not going anywhere. So I got this knife block off of Amazon. Tracy, organized with Tracy, recommends it. She says knives on the counter is ugly. So our knives went in the thing as well. And I wanted to buy two because you see how many knives we have left over and we didn't have enough room for two with the other thing. So I downsized our silverware because we didn't need this extra silverware. This thing's dirty, it's broken. We didn't need those things. So I kept the corn on the cob for the girls because I like those. The tongs, these are actually <laughs> actual Olive Garden tongs that we've had for a really long time. It was like a parting gift from Olive Garden. Um, we love those for tossing the salads and stuff really good. I actually made depart, depart, is that the word? Give away this ice cream scoop because it's a classic ice cream scoop, but I have cookie dough scoopers in my other drawer over here and I got them from Amazon and it's, they're three different sizes. So I really don't need this. Hmm. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. These are just my other little gadgets. This thing is amazing if you've never tried one of these. It cuts cucumbers, it cuts any really kind of fruit or vegetable. I use it for grapes, for Everly, perfect. Apple core, cherry pitter, awesome. And I'm probably eventually going to do something with these so this in here is more aesthetically pleasing. I have two food scales, I'll probably downsize one of those. My super cute Pioneer Woman what are these um, measuring cups? But yeah, I have three different sizes. This one I find is a perfect size for like cookies and stuff. This one's great for muffins and then that would be good for ice cream. So I think I am going to go ahead and get rid of this and go back. Yeah, that's gonna go ahead and get rid of piles. So I have my pizza slicer and the tongs, which technically I guess the tongs could go like up in our thing that holds utensils, but it's fine in here. I'm going to order another knife block. So I'll have two of them. It'll fit perfectly. All the knives will have a home. And it looks so much better. I'm so excited. So let's see. The ultimate test is, whoa, it didn't move, baby. It didn't move. The knife block does, because I don't have it like putty down or anything. But the girls don't, we don't have one of those like fancy, auto closed drawer so this is what happens <gasps> yay I'm so excited so we'll have to putty down the knife blocks but this thing didn't move I'm so excited okay so there's my DIY organization for the day okay I'm doing another little DIY because I know Everly got these for when she was a baby these bows well she has had way more hair than any of my other girls, like from the jump. And these no longer fit all her hair. <laughs> they slip off. So Autumn, when she got her one year haircut, when Maddie got her one year haircut, it just evened everything out. Her hair was still super thin though. So she could still wear bows, um, like baby headbands like this. Uh, Autumn as well, she was still wearing baby headbands with like the stretchy, band so this physically fits around Everly's head but because she literally has so thick such thick hair it just slides right off and she doesn't love them because we didn't wear them a ton any headbands really because she's been in quarantine since she was three months old so she hasn't worn a ton we put them on her whenever we go out and stuff but most of the time she ends up taking them off. So what I've been doing, because her bangs are already getting long, is putting her hair up in a little chungle and just like a side ponytail or a ponytail like a pebbles one that's up and down or just like sticking straight up and putting a bow in her. But the bows that I've been using are her sister's bows, which is fine, we can share, but the more people that are using them, <laughs> the more likely they are to get broken. Um, because once they started off being just Maddie's bows, Emmy has never really worn bows like that. She's always been more of a headband girl. So she has all the headbands. No one else really wears headbands. Sometimes the other girls will, but not really. And Maddie's always been a bow girl. So I kept all her bows that were like this when she was little, packed them away. When we were, we thought we were done having kids after autumn, 
I packed all her bows away as well. So Everly got so many bows that she hasn't even really worn from you guys mostly and from baby showers and stuff like that. So what I thought I would do, since not a lot of her bows, because the other two girls wore bows like this quite a bit when they were babies, it was part of their like keepsake. I packed everything away. I even used a couple of Autumn's bows for Everly for pictures so they can just kind of share them when they get older. And I'm gonna keep some of these kind for Everly in case she has a girl in her future. Although I'll probably, we'll just probably get grandsons on huh? we have so many girls. But anyway, if she ever has a girl, I'll pack some of her bows away. But I like she never even wore this one as an actual bow. I tried to put her on it the in it the other day. I tried to put it on her the other day and it just slipped right off. So I went on trusty old Amazon and ordered alligator clips five dollars for this pack of 80 and it came with this size and this size so two different ones and I'm no bow expert or anything but and I'm sure there's a better way to do this I guess you could like wrap the alligator just to make like the claws here just to make sure it doesn't poke her head or anything like that but what I'm gonna try and do is just snip because all this is, is like super glued on is just take the bow I'm gonna snip off the elastic and like I said I guess you could wrap it if you wanted to because typically when you get an alligator bow like this it's like tucked into the fabric so you could do it however you want but I'm gonna snip it and I'm gonna super glue that baby here and she's gonna use the actual bow in her little chunguitos so let's try this out and see I should have used an uglier color because <laughs> this one's probably my favorite, but we're literally just going to snip, snip. Make sure you don't cut the bow. So I just cut the elastic off. Like I said, you could wrap it around the alligator. And because this is like a medium sized bow, I'm just gonna use this one Hopefully this works. I don't even know if the hot glue is going to stick to the alligator, but we're gonna try it. I'm just, put some glue. I'm gonna take this and glue it down. Let it dry for a few minutes. If this doesn't work, I may try like an E6000. You, if you make bows, let me know what you use. <laughs> I'm curious because I bought these specifically so I could turn all her headbands because like how cute is that? It's gonna look so cute in her hair. But these things just don't work for her anymore. And so there's no sense in the bows going to waste. Bows are expensive. If you don't have little girls, they're expensive. They add up very quickly and this this size wouldn't work well in Maddie's hair but it would work well for Autumn and it definitely works well for Everly so yeah it feels dry there you go so yeah we're gonna try it little tip from me to you change your bows five bucks you can get a whole bag of these it'll last you your whole life but seriously if you make bows and you suggest a better way of cutting them and doing the alligator clip, let me know in the comments below. Uh, short. My, my, uh, my knees on, uh, hit, uh... This is what we got Everly for Christmas. It's the cutest! She's eating her cheese. <laughs> So this thing is made in Sweden. That's the brand name of it. Of course we got it on Amazon. It took forever to get here. It actually did not come until after Christmas. Pretty pricey, but it connects to the bike. Huh? Is it fun? Is that so much fun? You wanna go? It has a place for their feet where they can hold on and it holds up to 50 pounds, 100 pounds. No, yeah, right. <laughs> 35 or 40. 40 pounds, something like that. Um, anyway, it's made for kids up to two, so. Yeah. 
Super cute. Now you can go for bike rides. Didn't Don't drop your cheese. <laughs> and she got the cutest new helmet, mini. You love it? <gasps> you hear the ice cream man? It's a helmet. <laughs> it's Minnie Mouse helmet. Okay, for those of you that don't want a peeling foot update, skip the next 10 seconds. But I'm going to show you my right foot is yeah, like the whole yeah. foot's feet pulling off. The actual is that. My left foot is not nearly as bad, but that right foot, eek. We picked up the girls. They had such a great day with my mom. Everly went to bed super early today because she did not take a nap at all at my mom's house. We brought her home around 2.30, 3 o'clock. And after we got done run, running errands and stuff, and she took like an maybe an hour nap, got up, had an early dinner and was in bed by like 6.20 because she just could not hang. And we picked up the girls kind of late. So we were able to watch catch up on Shameless. Shameless is currently on, on um, Showtime. So we've been watching it on demand. And we caught up with 90 Day Fiance. So it feels like an accomplished Monday evening. I'm on Autumn's iPad with the, the kid thing and everything because my farm is the actual app is not opening up on my phone. <laughs> I've been very upset all day. I have not been able to check on my animals. I know, I'm 34 years old, worried about my farm animals. <laughs> we also have been looking at spin bikes on Amazon and comparing them, because we looked at the Echelon spin bike at Costco today, just to get an idea of that. Well, the, that particular one is $1,000. They have a few different models. Even $1,000 is like, kind of crazy so but you know what we paid about that much for workout equipment this treadmill we just happened to get on um, Facebook marketplace or offer up or something for a really great deal but before when we had a treadmill and and those weren't even like commercial grade or anything we paid like probably about close to a thousand for that treadmill and like seven or eight hundred for the elliptical if you've been around a long time you probably remember us having those and we had them for years and they were great but even like the workout bench that he has like workout equipment is expensive so i'm not you know expecting to pay 50 or 100 dollars for a spin bike and thinking that it's going to be like the greatest of grades so we're trying to find kind of a middle of the road one just so him and i both can try and get into it especially with not really going to gyms and stuff like that i just I don't know, I think it would be better to have it here at home. A lot of you guys had great suggestions if we put the workout equipment in the garage, they all can be out there like riding their bikes in the garage, scooters, well, the big girls can't ride their bikes, but you know what I mean, playing with the basketball hoop and stuff like that while I'm working out it would kind of be a way to keep everyone entertained. So yeah, we're um, probably going to pull the trigger on one. I will definitely keep you guys updated and give you all the 411. On it we're trying I told him that I was trying I, I really want to see a plus size person it doesn't have to be a woman person on one of these bikes that's not the peloton and anywhere you look I really have not seen anybody remotely close to my size what was that oh Mila uh, on one of these bikes from Amazon I just haven't everyone has been way smaller than me or a pretty significantly amount smaller than me even if they're not teeny tiny my battery died so i had to go get another one but i haven't every time the cats walk back here they push this off i haven't found anybody so if you have any video suggestions let me know but i haven't really found anybody close to my size so some of the bikes that we've seen the weight limit the capacity on it's like 300 330 but is it like okay, it can hold 330 pounds, or is it more like it's going to wiggle and wobble and feel like it's falling apart, but it'll hold you? That's my thing, because we found a couple of good bikes that, like, the weight capacity is 280. Well, I'm a couple pounds over 280, so even if we got that in hopes that I lose a few more pounds over the next few weeks or whatever month, even if I got on it, that's really close to the weight limit. So I'm just like, I don't know. I saw one plus size girl, I th I'm pretty sure I'm bigger than her, but um, one plus size girl that was on a Peloton and 
Actually, she there was one plus size girl that she looked. She didn't say her weight, but we. She looked like she would be like a 22, and she was on the Peloton, no problem. But I don't really want to invest in a Peloton unless I'm. I know I'm going to love this and all that. I don't know that I'm going to love it because uh, we've bought workout equipment before that I have never even touched, and. I love the idea of having a spin bike at home and being able to do it and have something different. But at the same time, I'm lazy, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's really going to work out. I don't want to spend $1,500, $1,800, $2,500, dollars however much it ends up costing, and then it just sitting there and then paying a $40 a month subscription for service you know so anyway we've been looking at that it's late we should be in bed already and we told ourselves this and we have a busy week i have assignments that are due wednesday today's monday and so yeah i will be sitting at my computer part of the day tomorrow i have um a parent teacher conference with emmy's teacher tomorrow morning and we have like a virtual second quarter meet the teacher like update meeting and stuff for both of the girls individually they have both projects both of them have like big projects that are due on Friday and I work this weekend at H&R Block it's my first shift back of the season kind of crazy so yeah it's just a little nuts I feel like I have a couple of other things that I need to do this week as well so we're just going to have to go with the flow, like in the midst of distance learning and everything. But we got it. We got it. We got it. It's going to be fine. Luckily, I did laundry and everything <laughs> over the weekend, like Friday and Saturday. So that will can be kind of put back on the back burner for the week. Do you hear? This is why they look like that. Mila. Mila. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, today was a really fun day getting to spend it with my Hanavini before he goes back to work tomorrow. It's always nice. <laughs> it's always nice to get to spend some adult one on one time. The girls love being with my mom, and it was just a really nice day, really nice, chill day. And to be able to watch a couple shows together, we don't really get that luxury anymore. So it was nice to spend the day with him. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to call it a vlog. I'm very tired. And I need to get to bed because, like I said, I have a long week and I need some rest that I need to catch up on. Mila. So I hope you guys enjoyed today and we will see you tomorrow.